Hi, it's Heather from Strings and Threads. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Today is Things We're Making Thursday. If you want to hear a cool jingle, go to Jess from J Hook Magic. She always sings a cool little uh, Things We're Making Thursday jingle. So I'm going to challenge you, Jess. I think that you and your husband should write an official jingle for Things We're Making Thursday. Have him play the guitar part and you sing it. And then we can all add it to our videos as well. I think that would be really cool. I really put her on the spot there because I didn't warn her that I was going to say that. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Um, anyway, Things We're Making Thursday is a collab between me and now. The amount of channels that have joined us has really exploded. I'm so excited. We have so many people who are following us right now that Jenna from Jenna Stitches created a Facebook page for us called Things We're Making Thursday on Facebook, which I'll link that down below. And I think that would be a great place for us to share our pictures of our progress. And we can pull the pictures off of Facebook and make a little slideshow with everybody's pictures, all the people who are joining us. Now, if you're a station and you'd like to join us, please join the Facebook excuse me, the Facebook page, but you can show your progress on your channel. If you don't have a station, I think that Facebook page is a great place for us to share pictures and then we can designate one of us to do a slideshow of everybody's pictures, uh, picture progress. So the station's joining us. I'm gonna be looking at my paper because we have so many now. I don't wanna forget anybody. It's Darla from It's In The Bag Crochet with Darla. And I'm going to link all these stations below. Please check them out. Please subscribe to them. These are all lovely women. Jenna from Jenna Stitches. You don't have to be a woman to join us uh, either, okay? I just said that because so far we all are, are women. But anybody can join us. Jess from J Hook Magic. Erin from Crafting Kitty. Tiffany from CMM Designs. Brandy from Bee's Crafty Corner. Teresa from Critters Crochet, Linda from Lefty's Crochet Knit, and Julia from Doodly's Crochet, aka Julia. So please go and check out their progress. I've seen a couple of the videos uh, up already for their progress for this week, and they're all looking really good. Uh, I love the colors. Everybody has chosen a different color to do so far that I've seen, and so it's really exciting. I decided to mix two colors together. Oh, I should tell you what the pattern is first. Um, we are, this month, uh, okay, I, I didn't explain the whole thing. I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to remember everything and now I'm forgetting everything. So every month, this group of things we're making Thursday, we are going to do a new pattern and then we're gonna work on the pattern throughout the month and show our progress every Thursday. So Thursday is the day designated to show our progress. And then at the end of the month, we'll show our completed projects and then announce what the pattern for next month will be. They're all gonna be free patterns that you can download. And I will list this month's pattern down below. I'll also list last month's in case you were interested in seeing what we did and maybe giving it a try yourself. If you go on the Facebook page, we have um, a tab for January's pictures. So you can see everybody who posted a picture of their, pro of their project in January, you can see how theirs turned out. Uh, this month we're doing, it's a Hoot Owl container. It's a Yarnspirations pattern by Michelle Wilcox. And it's a really cute basket. And it's a free pattern. Like I said, I'll link that down below so that you can go to the um, website and print out your own copy if you'd like to work with us. This pattern works up easily. It's not difficult. If you had any questions, you could certainly reach out to any one of us or go on our Facebook page and, and we'll answer you there. But this would be a really fun project to join in with us because even though we've already, we're already a week in, this project is not so big that it will put you, put you off. I think you can still finish it easily with the rest of the month. 
but I will show you my progress so far. I have to show, show you my colors first. I did Mainstay and they are sparkly colors. This one is a purple sparkle. I forget the exact name and I don't have the, um, I don't have the name handy. This one was Rose something or other, but this one's also sparkly. Like I said, these are Mainstay. Um, one night I was just sitting watching TV with my family and this is one of those mindless projects. Like, it, I mean, it's not completely mindless. You still have to read the directions and figure it out. But once you've got the pattern going, you don't really have to think too hard about it. So I was just sitting there going, 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 not really paying attention. And the next thing I know, <laughs> I have this much done. So it's supposed to be 10, oh, 10 inches wide and then 10 inches high. And it's a repeating, a two row repeating pattern once you get to this build up part. So while I was working on it, I lost count of where I was. So I'm not sure exactly what row I'm on. So what I'm gonna do, since I know it's supposed to be 10 inches high, I'm gonna just keep going until this is 10 inches. It's not yet 10 inches. And then I'm going to go to the next step after this is 10 inches. So that's just a little, helpful hint if you lose count of where you are too you can always just go by the measurements I have to say that I really love the way they did the bottom of the basket with the the edging right here I was expecting just because I've done so many patterns where you know it's round and then you have to build it up I was expecting it to just be you know go until the last row and then do the back loop only to build it up but this had a whole extra step that gave it a nice little little lip or you know whatever you want to call it and it sits very nicely and it's very sturdy when it sits so i'm really excited i'm also excited about how the two colors are looking together because it's not a huge um contrast really you know if you if you look at it it's not like you know, a bright color and a dull, you know, whatever. It They kind of seem like they're one color or maybe it's a variegated, I don't know, but it's, I really like it. I'm, I'm really happy with how it's coming along so far. So there's my progress. If I start getting carried away again, sitting and watching TV and just finish it, and there's still time left in the month, I may make a second one because I believe I'll have, as long as this is enough yarn to finish the project, which it might be because I only have to finish the height and then the handles with that color because I'm going to use this color for the eye and then I have a brown, I don't have it handy, but I do have a brown that I'm gonna use for the pupil and the nose or the beak, whatever you wanna call it. So it should be enough. So if I'm starting to get carried away and you know accidentally finish it by next week, <laughs> I think I'll make a second one just because this one, this is a really fun project to make. And, uh, you know, it doesn't take a ton of yarn. So that's my progress. Um, I hope that you guys have a great night. Uh, again, check out all the other people who are participating and check out our Facebook page. Even if you don't want to post pictures, you can come and see how we're doing with our progress and you can just join the interaction, you know, join the, the social part of our group, you know, the social crochet, social yarny community. It's a really fun place to be. So I hope to see you in our Facebook page and I will see you later. Bye.